Good morning, Lancaster Catholic. I'm Rachel Saad. And I'm Anna Dvorak. Today is Friday, April 28th, A-Day, and here's what you need to know. Don't forget that Minithon is tomorrow, starting at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. We need all the support we can get, so make sure your donor drives are complete. If you have any questions, ask a member of the Minithon committee. We'll see you there. Attention all seniors. Don't forget that you may wear the t-shirt or sweatshirt of the college you are attending next year over your uniform on Monday, May 1st. And now, Allie, with some important information. With the advance in technology, students now have new tools and resources to help improve their education. Some of these tools include computers and smart boards. Even though these tools are very beneficial, they're also a huge distraction. It is so easy for students to come off task or to, with an assignment when there is simply a phone or a computer laying nearby. So technology is like an important part of obviously what I'm teaching, trying to help students like be able to use technology for good. Yeah, it, it's not a good or bad thing. Like it's, 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 um, it's a tool, like it's an important tool to know how to use uh, technology. So my goal is to try to help students learn how to use it in a very positive way to make a difference in the world. I really think creative people have solutions to a lot of the problems of the world. And so I hope that by using technology and creativity that we can make a difference in the world. Technology, especially in the form of a smartphone, can be a huge distraction. Like I noticed the other day, uh, I think students had like three or four minutes left at the end of class, and, um, and it was so quiet, and I was working at my desk, and I looked up, and like every single person in the room was on their phone, and that, that's not unusual. It's a challenge, and it's a challenge that we need to sort out and figure out how can we use technology in a positive way and not um, let it just be a complete distraction. But I think that's the first step, is, like to, is to be aware that we're constantly, constantly looking down at our phones as a distraction. And a lot of it has to do with defining that balance, being aware and then um, trying to keep our vices in check. Around 57% of students use technology in school every single day, but as we become older, our education becomes more dependent on technology. Remember to stay focused when doing your schoolwork. Prom is only one week away. This season is filled with frantic dress shopping, promposals, and general excitement about the exclusive dance. Juniors and seniors have started preparing as early as February by buying their dresses and suits. Obviously, there is more to prom than just the dresses. People plan elaborate promposals for their significant others with large signs, flowers, and music. Others spend hours on their makeup before the special event. Girls may even book hair and nail appointments months in advance. The night will be filled with dazzling dresses and dashing tuxedos. Now to Zach with the news. Speaking of prom, let's take a closer look into the 2023 prom court. Since prom is drawing closer, the prom king and queen are preparing for their big night. Five girls and five guys are selected by the teachers to be placed on the prom court. On prom night, one girl and one guy will be picked from a hat and crowned. The five contestants for prom king are Jansen Hofford, Xavier Molina, Will Scott, Chris Kavaner, and James Johnson. The five contestants for prom queen are Ginny Yost, Rachel Saad, Rebecca Sitze, Keelan Covey, and Marina Brazzo. I'm so excited for prom. Very excited. Super excited. Senior prom. Yep. I was pretty surprised. That they were like slowly reading out the names, and then I heard the K, and I was like, oh, is that me? And they finished reading out my name, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I was surprised. I didn't even know we were doing a prom court this year, so, yeah. Well, I just, I walked in late with uh, you, yeah. and then they were starting announcing, and I heard my name. I was like, all right, cool. Good luck to all of our possible kings and queens, and have fun at prom. Athletics are a very important part of the LCHS community, but many people forget about the essential role of the athletic trainers. Our trainers, Ms. Del Delp and Ms. Newell, provide a variety of different services to athletes, from stretches for strength training, taping, and ice for injuries. They're always working to keep students at the top of their game. Their offices on the first floor of the school and the stadium are easily accessible to the athletes of all sports. Thanks, Marina. If you have a birthday today, you share it with singer Melanie Martinez. Have, have a, a great, great day, day, Crusaders. <laughs> you call me on the telephone, you feel so far away. 